I see you over there ogling that LG OLED monitor or even 42 inch C3 and I'm here to tell you please for the love of everything that is holy do not buy that thing. Now I know what you're thinking what does this guy know I'm gonna buy 10 just because he told me not to well go ahead do it see what happens you know what's gonna happen you're gonna have serious buyers remorse because first of all and most importantly there are some way and I mean way better OLED monitors coming out very soon we have a whole gaggle of of companies such as Asus, MSI, Alienware, and probably many more getting ready to take a steaming dump of OLED monitors on us very soon. How soon? Well, recently Alienware revealed that they would have two new monitors available in early January of next year, which is around just three months away. And if they stick to what they said, any OLED you buy now is going to have it absolutely pushed in by Samsung's. But now look, OLED monitors now certainly aren't bad, and if you bought one earlier this year that you're enjoying, I don't want you to feel bad about it, but if you're thinking of buying one now, depending on what the size and resolution is, you may want to seriously reconsider because these new monitors coming out early next year are using Samsung's new Quantum Dot OLED Gen 2 panels and will be offering sizes and resolutions we have been asking for for years. Now, if you've been following the TV market, you'll know that Gen 2 Quantum Dot OLED panels are being used in the best flagship TVs available and in my testing are absolutely making a home in the angle of LG W OLED panels, at least when it comes to color volume, which I think is very important for HDR. But more than that, LG OLED monitors, with the exception of the 42 inch TVs, are using absolute garbage matte finishes, which look like you poured vegetable oil all over the screen before using it as toilet paper for the last 10 years. There are no words for how horrified I was to find that LG had decided to so thoroughly annihilate their monitors with such a god-awful finish that blurs everything and mutes perceived color while smearing reflections across the whole screen, which of course harms the contrast, all in a vain attempt to stop reflections, which isn't possible, by the way. Well, guess what? Quantum Dot OLED panels are all glossy by design, which means that the outcoming image has very minimal distortion applied before hitting your eyes, allowing for the best clarity, contrast, and vibrancy. But even if you don't care about that, which you should, you should care that there will be many more options on the market next year, including a 32-inch 4K 240Hz and 27-inch 1440p 360Hz, which will offer far superior image quality over anything we have available now. And from what I'm hearing, they might not cost that much more than the OLEDs available today as well. We're talking probably around $1,500 for the 4K monitors, which yes, that is a lot. And that is significantly more than some of the 1440p ones, but the 1440p one that's 360 Hertz is probably not going to be that much more. It's probably going to be somewhere between $1,000 to $1,200. Now, I could be wrong in that. Maybe it will be way more expensive, but that's what it's sounding like right now. And we're not even talking about the many other sizes that have been leaked coming out from both Samsung and LG. But honestly, guys, even with LG's new MLA OLED panels, which greatly improve brightness and viewing angles, Personally, I'm just not waiting for any of their monitors at this point because if they continue to take a fat dump on the top of their screens and likely also guys can never solve the low color volume issue I've consistently measured across every single LG OLED likely due to the extra white subpixel, then the Quantum Dot OLED monitors from Samsung are just far better by default. And in my opinion, LG OLEDs should be completely abandoned by the PC industry and buyers until they create a new panel technology which can compete with what Samsung has brought to the table and they stop putting god awful finishes on top of the screens. I mean, for the love of God, one of the biggest reasons we buy OLED panels is to get those fantastic contrast ratios. Why put a finish on the top that kind of ruins that? I don't know. So in any case, yeah, that's why I wouldn't buy an LG OLED monitor today or probably any time in the near future, and I'd be holding out to see what those glossy Quantum Dot OLED panels can do as they're looking really, 
really good. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.